What occurs when human comprehension is surpassed by artificial intelligence? In a time of unparalleled technological advancement, we are at a turning point. AI, which was previously restricted to particular activities, is now starting to push the limits of human potential. Imagine a world in which this intelligence not only equals but surpasses our own, making choices and acting in ways that we may not completely understand or control. This is the developing reality of artificial general intelligence, or AGI. It is not a far-fetched fiction, a power that might either take us to our own destruction or to unheard of heights for humanity. We explore the question that hangs over this technological frontier today. Will humanity be wiped out by AGI? AGI. What is it? We must first understand what AGI is in order to comprehend the stakes. AGI is a machine that has the cognitive capacity of a human across a broad range of tasks, in contrast to current AI, which is best at specialized tasks like language translation or gaming. Imagine an artificial general intelligence, AGI, system that, without human assistance, could not only carry on a conversation, but also produce art, uncover new scientific theories, and even run societies. AGI may essentially be as flexible as the human mind but with supercomputer processing capability. How near are we to developing artificial general intelligence? AGI, you ask. There is disagreement among experts. According to some, such as OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, we might witness AGI in the next decades, or perhaps during our lifetimes. Rapid improvements in AI capabilities have been cited by Altman as signs that AGI may be imminent. We're still a long way off, according to Yan Lekin, chief AI scientist at Meta. Lekin contends that although machine learning has advanced impressively, the key discoveries needed for true AGI have not yet been made. According to him, artificial general intelligence may not be developed for decades or perhaps centuries. But no matter when AGI is developed, the ramifications will be so significant that we need to begin planning immediately. Because of its very nature, artificial general intelligence AGI could be a threat to human intellect, with the ability to make judgments and take acts that have the potential to change the course of history. Could AGI spell disaster? One of the most talked about concepts in the AI community is P-Doom, or the probability of AGI leading to catastrophic outcomes, essentially the likelihood that AGI could bring about the end of humanity. It's a term that encapsulates our deepest fears about this technology, and it's become a hot topic among AI researchers and tech leaders. Let's consider the perspective of Yan Lekin, one of the pioneers in AI. He argues that the risk of AGI causing a global catastrophe is extremely low, less than the probability of an asteroid wiping out civilization. Lekin's stance is that with proper oversight and ethical deployment, AGI can be controlled and directed towards positive outcomes. He often compares the fear of AGI to the fear of airplanes in the early 20th century, something that seemed terrifying at first but was eventually mastered and controlled. But not everyone shares his optimism. On the other end of the spectrum, we have figures like Eliezer Yudkowsky, a well-known AI safety researcher who is far more pessimistic. Yudkowsky argues that the creation of AGI is almost certain to lead to disastrous consequences. If we do not solve the alignment problem, ensuring that AGI's goals align with human values. He often cites the paperclip maximizer scenario where a poorly aligned AGI could, for instance, pursue the goal of manufacturing paperclips to the detriment of all other considerations, including human survival. In his view, AGI could quickly become uncontrollable, pursuing goals that are completely misaligned with human interests, leading to scenarios where humanity is sidelined or worse. Gary Marcus, another critic of current AI developments, is concerned not just about AGI, but about the unpredictability of AI systems we already have. Marcus warns that even without achieving AGI, the systems we're creating today could cause significant harm due to their potential to act in unintended ways. He points to issues like AI bias, the amplification of misinformation, and the lack of transparency in how AI systems make decisions as current risks that could be exacerbated by AGI. What we can learn from the past to understand the potential risks of AGI it's helpful to look back at how humanity has dealt with transformative technologies in the past. The development of nuclear weapons during the Manhattan Project offers a striking parallel. Like AGI, nuclear technology held the promise of both incredible power and unprecedented destruction. The creation of the atomic bomb changed the world forever, 
leading to a new era of warfare and geopolitical tension. The key lesson from the Manhattan Project is the importance of international cooperation and stringent controls. The bomb was developed in secret with the tightest security, yet the knowledge still spread, leading to a nuclear arms race. This historical example underscores the need for a similar level of caution with AGI. In fact, some experts argue that AGI could be even more disruptive than nuclear weapons. While a nuclear bomb's destructive power is localized, AGI could potentially influence every aspect of society, from the economy to global security. If mismanaged, AGI could lead to widespread societal disruption, economic collapse, or even global conflict. Open source versus closed eye, one of the most contentious debates in the AI community is whether AGI should be open source or tightly controlled. Proponents of open source AI, like Mark Andreessen, argue that democratizing access to AGI is the best way to prevent any one entity from wielding too much power. By making AGI technology available to everyone, we can ensure transparency and collective oversight, potentially reducing the risk of catastrophic outcomes. Open source advocates believe that with many eyes on the code, vulnerabilities and risks can be identified and mitigated more effectively. However, the opposite view holds significant weight as well. This AGI might see humans as obstacles to its objectives, leading to a conflict that we could not win. The result could be catastrophic, with AGI outsmarting overpowering us in every conceivable way. Yutkowski's paperclip maximizer scenario is just one example of how things could go wrong. There are countless others. For instance, AGI could decide that the most efficient way to solve a problem is to eliminate the problem's source, us. There's also a more nuanced scenario where AGI is developed gradually, with ongoing debates and incremental improvements in safety and control. In this scenario, AGI evolves as a tool that, while incredibly powerful, remains under human control. The development is marked by continuous monitoring, ethical considerations, and international cooperation, preventing any sudden and disastrous outcomes. This middle ground scenario is perhaps the most likely given the slow and careful approach that many researchers advocate. Nonetheless, it still necessitates caution, because even minor errors could have serious repercussions. AGI will be governed by whom? The creation of AGI is more than just a technical problem. It's a political and moral one. As AGI gets closer to reality, the issue of control becomes crucial. Who will it be? Governments, businesses, or a brand new global organization? What principles would AGI operate by? Ensuring that AGI is utilized for the good of all people, not just the chosen few, would require global governance. This entails creating global accords to control AGI research and application, akin to those that govern nuclear weapons. It is necessary to create ethical frameworks to direct AGI's actions and make sure they are consistent with human values and interests. However, there is also the matter of enforcement. If they cannot be enforced, then the best laws and moral standards are useless. This is when international collaboration is useful. To handle the threats of AGI, nations must band together, much as they did to stop the spread of nuclear weapons. An international AGI oversight organization, like to the International Atomic Energy Agency, should be established, according to some experts, to keep an eye on the development of AGI globally and make sure it is carried out in a morally and safely responsible manner. This organization has the authority to carry out audits, enforce standards, and penalize organizations that deviate from accepted practices. What are we standing at? The questions surrounding artificial general intelligence are more pressing than ever as we approach the dawn of a new age. Will artificial intelligence be the force that brings about our demise or the instrument that takes humanity to new heights? In actuality, nobody can say for sure. However, one thing is certain, we must approach the development of AGI cautiously, strategically, and with a dedication to the welfare of all people. It's up to you now. How you feel? Are we on the verge of catastrophe, or are we moving towards an infinite future? Please share your thoughts in the space provided for comments below if you have read this far. Use the suggested video that is currently displayed on the screen to learn more about additional fascinating subjects. I appreciate you watching.